Gus Hutt and his wife were regulars at Matata, where they enjoyed fishing trips together. On this particular day, they embarked on what seemed like another routine adventure, but little did they anticipate the extraordinary turn of events that awaited them. The day began early, as the couple set out for a day of fishing in the sea. Gus, a seasoned fisherman, was casting his line when he spotted something unusual floating in the water. It was a doll that appeared astonishingly lifelike. In treat, he decided to retrieve it from the water, placing it carefully in their boat. Continuing their fishing expedition, Gus and his wife were soon startled by an unexpected sound coming from the doll. They turned their attention back to it, and in that moment, everything changed. Gus Hutt was passionate about fishing and often took his wife along on these adventurous outings. Their love for fishing had deepened over the years, and they cherished the time they spent together by the sea. However, as life got busier, Gus's wife had expressed concerns about his hectic schedule. In an effort to reconnect and create special memories, Gus decided to plan a fishing trip for the two of them to Matata. On this particular day, they prepared for their excursion meticulously, ensuring they had all the necessary fishing gear and even mosquito spray. Little did they know that fate had a remarkable surprise in store for them. Meanwhile, at the same beach, another family was embarking on their own getaway. Jessica White and her partner Josh had longed for this vacation and had chosen the Murphy's Holiday Camp in Matata, New Zealand, as their destination. Jessica had fond memories of the beach and yearned to return after a significant absence. The couple's anticipation for this trip had been building for years, and they had made thorough preparations, including shopping for themselves and their 18-month-old son, Malachi. Upon reaching the campsite, they marveled at its beauty and set up their camp beside the shoreline. It was a perfect day, and this marked Malachi's first beach vacation. While Josh set out for some fishing in the ocean, Jessica and Malachi spent their time on the beach, where the little boy was captivated by the new surroundings. His joyful giggles and fascination were evident to everyone who saw him. As Malachi dug holes in the sand with his tiny fingers, Jessica watched with delight. When it was time to return to the camp, the boy resisted, clearly preferring the beach to their campsite. Reluctantly, they brought Malachi back to the camp where he expressed his displeasure by crying. Despite Jessica's attempts to soothe him, he remained inconsolable. Malachi's attachment to the beach was evident, and he cried as he was taken away. However, the approaching dusk signaled their return to the campsite, and Jessica carried him back. Grateful for her loving family, Jessica couldn't help but express her happiness, feeling that she had everything she needed, a devoted partner and an adorable son. She cherished the moment, reflecting on her perfect life. After putting Malachi to bed, Jessica and Josh spent hours talking by the campfire. They delved into their dreams and desires, rediscovering their emotional connection. Jessica gazed at her sleeping son, filled with love and gratitude. Little did Jessica know that the following morning held a significant surprise for her, and the beach would prove to be unlike anything they had imagined. After their lengthy conversation, fatigue eventually caught up with Jessica and Josh, leading them to retire for the night. Meanwhile, Malachi awoke and, unnoticed by his slumbering parents, decided to venture out of the tent. Quietly, the 18-month-old crawled toward the unzipped entrance of the tent and carefully opened it. The tent was left wide open as he made his escape, embarking on an adventure that would soon send shockwaves through his parents. The pre-dawn hours left the beach deserted, with only Malachi wandering along the shoreline. Unbeknownst to his parents, the 18-month-old set off on an extraordinary journey that would soon leave them in disbelief. Guess Hutt, on his regular fishing expedition with his wife, favored a specific spot in the Bay of Plenty for its abundant fish population. Little did he anticipate that this day would mark a remarkable departure from the norm. Seeking a change of scenery, Gus Hutt decided to fish near the campsite for a change, deviating from his usual spot. Little did he know that this departure from routine would lead to a startling discovery. While patiently waiting for fish to take the bait on his fishing line, 
Hutt's attention was drawn to an unusual sight in the sea. There, some distance from his location, he spotted something bobbing up and down in the water. Curiosity peaked, he decided to investigate. Maneuvering his boat towards the mysterious object, Hutt soon discerned that it was a doll, perhaps left behind by a child from the campsite. The doll, exquisitely crafted and remarkably lifelike, caught his eye, and he resolved to retrieve it. Bending over the water, Hutt reached out and carefully plucked the doll from the sea. As he examined it, he marveled at its porcelain beauty, with its dark hair and pale skin. Struck by its uniqueness, he thought of presenting it to his wife, confident that she would appreciate such a distinctive gift. With the doll now aboard his boat, Hutt continued his fishing expedition. However, as he navigated the waters with the doll by his side, an unexpected sound emanated from it, sending a shiver down his spine. Alarmed, Hutt rushed to the doll's side, and to his astonishment, it was not a doll at all. Instead, he discovered that it was a baby, a porcelain-like figure brought to life. His heart raced, and with trembling hands, he began pressing the baby's chest, prompting water to spew from its mouth. Overwhelmed by the realization, Hutt described the moment, saying, his face looked just like porcelain with his short hair wetted down. But then he let out a little squeak and I thought, oh Lord, this is a baby and it's alive. He immediately steered his boat towards the shore, offering up prayers for the infant's well-being. The man was filled with questions and concerns, primarily about the baby's chances of survival. He had no way of knowing how long the baby had been in the water, and time was of the essence as he hurried towards the shore, the unconscious baby in his care. Upon reaching the campsite, Hutt's wife shared in his amazement at the startling turn of events. Together, they swiftly removed the baby's wet clothing, providing warmth with a protective blanket. Remarkably, the baby began to recover rapidly, and Hutt's swift actions had made all the difference. After ensuring the baby's well-being, Hutt embarked on the mission of locating the baby's parents. Fortunately, their search was short-lived, thanks to the small number of people on the beach. There was only one couple with a baby, and Hutt's wife rushed over to their campsite to deliver the astounding news. Recalling the encounter, Hutt explained, she ran to the tent and just shook it and asked, where's your baby? We just pulled one from the sea, and the mother just screamed. The couple had been unaware of the ordeal their child had undergone three. The baby, initially purple and cold from his unexpected dip in the ocean, was safely reunited with his parents, Jessica and Josh. Jessica's joy was palpable as she held her child close, thankful that he had been rescued by Hutt. Emergency services and the Matata Volunteer Fire Brigade arrived at the scene, providing assistance and ensuring the baby's well-being. It was nothing short of a miracle that he had survived such a harrowing experience. Hutt later retraced the baby's path to the beach, discovering tiny footprints in the sand leading to the water. It became evident that the baby had not been in the water for an extended period. Hutt's timely intervention had made all the difference. To express their gratitude, Jessica and Josh visited Hutt's home, where they thanked him once again for saving their son's life. The baby, full of curiosity and energy, was unfazed by the incident and was clearly unharmed by his oceanic adventure. The camp's co-owner, Rebecca Salter, reflected on the miraculous outcome, emphasizing that it could have easily taken a tragic turn. She described it as a freakish miracle that the baby had been saved. While many hailed Hutt as a hero and celebrated the miraculous rescue, some criticized the couple for their perceived negligence in allowing their child to slip out of the camp. Questions were raised about how the small child managed to unzip the tent without waking his parents. In response to the criticism, Jessica advised others to take precautions, urging parents to zip their tents securely, especially if their child can reach the zippers. She emphasized the importance of vigilance and acknowledged that people might judge their parenting abilities. Indeed, Gus Hutt emerged as an angel from Malachi, and the thought of what might have transpired had he not intervened is chilling. This story, 
filled with coincidences and remarkable timing, serves as an inspiration and a valuable lesson for parents everywhere.